to Wolfpack Academy. This course will introduce you to the new engine room and e-motor room features. When playing as the chief, your role will be vital to the U-boat's success. It is extremely important that you know the equipment, how to operate the equipment, and how your role impacts the U-boat's combat potential and safety. Let's have a look at the layout and equipment available to you in the diesel engine room. The port and starboard diesels are Germania Werft six-cylinder four-stroke M6V diesels, totaling 3,000 horsepower at 490 RPM. These are only used when on the surface. Directly above you are the hand wheels for the U-boat ventilation intake, diesel air induction valve, and exhaust valves. These allow fresh air into the boat and stale air out. These are hull valves that must be open to run the diesels and closed when submerged. Their position can be determined by the small handle. If the handle is folded out, the valve is open. If the handle is folded toward the center, the valve is closed. You can click into the diesel control station. Above you are the EOT and crankshaft RPM gauges for each engine. When the control room or conning tower requests a speed change, each EOT will have a light come on, a pointer to show the speed ordered, and the bell will ring. It is your duty to be attentive to these orders and respond quickly and correctly. Your first response should be to answer the order with your EOT handle. If the EOT shows dive, a horn will sound as well. Dive always means close all hull valves and shut down the diesels. These are the engine start lever, the throttle lever, the forward reverse lever, and the starting air valve. On the side are the exhaust temperature gauges of each of the six cylinders. At your feet is the supercharger lever. The supercharger is only needed to achieve maximum speed on the surface. Above you in the centre is the engine air intake valve. This allows air into the diesel intakes for them to run. This hull valve must be open to run the diesels and closed when submerged. Also, the cylinder pressure and supercharger gauges live up here, along with the fine depth gauge and the propeller shaft RPM gauges. Moving aft between the diesels is a cylinder petcock, diesel flow valve and oil flow valve for each cylinder. These will be used in future to bleed a flooded cylinder and obtain the best performance from each engine. Continuing aft, there are two hand wheels above you, right and left. These are the diesel exhaust valves for both engines. These hull valves must be open to run the diesels and closed when submerged. As with the other hull valves, if the boat submerges with any of these valves open, it is likely the boat will flood and sink before anything can be done. Also, the position of the hull opening valves will be indicated in the control room on the safe dive panel. On each side of the door are the diesel clutches. These couple and uncouple the diesel engines from the e-motors and propeller shafts. Continuing aft into the e-motor room, you will see two Siemens Schuckertwerk GU electric motors, primarily used for running submerged. Each motor produces 370 shaft horsepower at 300 RPM and draws their power from the U-boat's batteries. Above the motors are the motor control panels. These are used to turn on and off the motor's direct current from the batteries into the motors and switch propulsion directions to forward or reverse. At the top of each panel is the EOT for that side. Looking to your right on the bulkhead, there are two propeller shaft RPM gauges. These measure the shaft speed of the propellers no matter which propulsion system is driving the sub. At your feet is the propeller shaft coupler which will couple or uncouple the propeller shaft from the e-motor shaft when charging batteries. On the aft side of each motor control panel are the battery amp hours gauges. If we examine the e-motor control panel, we find the motor power switch. It should be off, except when using the e-motors for propulsion or charging the batteries. This is the motor direction switch it has three positions, forward, off, 
and reverse. This switch can be left in any position, but normally should be in the forward position. Above the direction switch is the speed setting plug for the e-motors. This provides the information needed for configuring the batteries and setting shaft RPM speed to provide the ordered speed. There are three hand wheel switches that control the battery configuration and power to the motors. From left to right, the motor series switch, the voltage rheostat, which functions as a speed controller, and the battery series switch. Above them are the e-motor shaft rotation gauges and the motor current gauge. At the top of the panel is the battery current gauge. On the port side of the motor control panel is the port side voltage regulator. This manages the amount of power sent to lighting and other systems on the boat. The starboard voltage regulator is found in the control room. This concludes the propulsion systems training film. Use the link below to take the qualification exam and earn your propulsion systems qualification certificate. This will allow you to train and qualify for the Oba Machinist and Electro Oba Machinist ranks. Thank you for playing Wolfpack. Good hunting and don't forget to close the hatch.